creating comments for your post can either be very complex or very simple. The very simple part is by using Facebook commenting, and that's what we're going to end up doing. The very complex part, or the more complex part, would be um, due to authentication. That's one thing. So that's user registration, user login, and all those things just to write a comment. Um, and then the other side of it is how to do the threading and spam and just there's just a whole lot that could go behind it. Um, so using something like Facebook's social plugin or a another plugin called Discuss, um, those things are actually really useful for blogs. And it's the reason they exist is because it essentially takes the URL that it's on and then allows um, already authenticated Facebook users to just comment directly on just the URL. Um, so that's the important part there. Cool, so since that's the case, we are gonna go into the social um, comment plugin. So it's developers.facebook.com slash docs slash plugins slash comments, and this is what we're gonna be doing. So it's really simple, um, comments plug code generator. I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom of it where it says get code. And these are the two things that we're gonna be grabbing. So I'm gonna grab this code right here, and I'm gonna put this inside of base.html, and we're gonna put it right below that first body tag, make sure it's in base.html. That's the important part of where it needs to be. So I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm also going to grab the second part of the code and I'm gonna put this where I want the comments to actually display. So I'm gonna go into post detail and I'm gonna put it right underneath the content itself. And what I need to do is change this data href stuff in just a second. But let's go ahead and look at our post now. If I refresh in here, notice that it is showing data um, of course, it's for the wrong URL, but in this case, it is showing data, which is cool. So the right URL would be the one that we're on, and it's really simple. Again, it's using request build absolute URL. We paste that into the data href stuff, refresh in here, and now we have zero comments. So that's the commenting section. So since we've done the commenting, we might as well do the Facebook like button as well. Um, and click on the like button get code. That first part, we already did that. So we can just grab the second part. And I'm going to put this right underneath the author. And we're going to save that in there. And we refresh. And now we've got our Facebook like and share. I'm going to put it in its own P class or P tag, excuse me, as well as the links themselves. I'm going to put those also there. There we go. And that should separate it out a little bit nicer. Um, so cool. So now we have this like and share button. Of course, this share button is virtually identical to the share button below. So you actually wouldn't need this duplicate stuff. But since we have the comments, um, we wouldn't need these links. I'm actually not going to use these links at all because I think it just adds way too much to what's going on here. And also the like button itself, I might want to change the way it looks. So maybe I don't want to see friends' faces, and maybe I don't want the share button, or um, I want a different layout like the box, or I want the button count, just that. That actually looks better. So I'm going to go to get code again. Just going to copy the second part again, and we're going to go back into that like, and let's just compare the two different codes. So we've got show faces, data action, like, um, the href, which is wrong. Data layout is button count versus standard, so let's change it. And then the href, let's go ahead and grab that again and paste that here and get rid of our other stuff. Save it, go back into our post and we refresh and there we go. So um, the last thing I would do is probably put an HR line here just to separate the content out from the top and then also possibly even add in div class equals to column small um, 11 or column small 10, column small offset one. And I'm doing this just for the div itself, for the content and the comments. So they, it just comes in just, just ever so slightly. Um, it's It might be a little too far in, but that's okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave it as 12, let's just And we're gonna put a row in front of it, class equals to row. There we go. So now that I put that row there, I can bring it back to being column 10, 
column small offset one. Refresh. And it's still not wanting to comply really. Um, so that's playing around with bootstrap. Not really gonna worry about that, but here we go. I'm gonna add the HR line here as well as another break line. Refresh and then there's our content and now we have the comments right below it. Um, so that's a pretty solid face or it's, that's a pretty solid blog post. Um, of course, there's a lot more things that could go into it, but as far as the content is concerned, we now have a way to display the content. And if we actually had some text in it, it would probably look just a little bit better um, as far as a blog post is concerned. Cool. So um, if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.